Hey there gamers, if you're stuck on the loading screen and hell let loose, I've got you covered. These are tried and tested solutions straight from the gaming community. First, let's talk about your firewall settings. Sometimes firewalls block games from fully connecting to servers, leaving you stuck on that endless loading screen. To fix this, open your firewall settings. On Windows, search for Windows Defender Firewall in the Start menu. From there, click Allow an app through the firewall. Scroll through the list to find your game. If you don't see Hell Let Loose, you'll need to add it manually. Click Change Settings, then Allow Another App. Browse to the game's installation folder, select the .exe file, and add it. Make sure both the private and public checkboxes are ticked. Once that's done, restart your game and it should load properly. Next, let's repair Easy Anti-Cheat. It's a tool used by many games, and if something's off with it, you might get stuck on the loading screen. Here's what to do. Go to the game's installation folder and find the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. Inside, locate the setup file and run it. Select the repair option and let it finish. After that, try launching the game again. This fix works for many players who face similar issues. Another fix involves resetting your network settings. This can help if a misconfigured connection is causing the game to hang. Open command, prompt as an administrator. To do that, search for CMD, right click it, and select run as administrator. Type netch winsock reset and press enter. After that, type ipconfig slash flush dns and press enter again. Restart your PC and give the game another go. This method has been known to solve connection related loading problems. If the problem persists, Try deleting the game's folder in the local app data directory. This won't uninstall the game, it just resets some of its settings. Press Windows key plus R, type percent local app data percent, and hit enter. Look for the folder named after the game and delete it. Once you've done that, launch the game again. You'll need to reconfigure your settings, but it's a simple step that often fixes these kinds of issues. Sometimes corrupted game files are the issue. Luckily, verifying them can fix this. If you're using Steam, open your library, right-click on the game, and select Properties. Go to the Local Files tab and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. For Epic Games, click the three dots next to the game title and select Verify. This process will replace any missing or damaged files. Try launching the game once this step is complete. Another common cause could be outdated graphics drivers. To fix this, make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. NVIDIA users can open GeForce Experience and check for updates, while AMD users can use Radeon software. Updating drivers not only helps with this issue, but can also improve your game's overall performance. Running the game as an administrator is another simple fix. Right-click on the game's executable file and select Run as Administrator. This bypasses certain permissions that might block the game from launching properly. Give it a shot, it's quick and worth trying. And finally, if nothing else works, force the game to run on DirectX 11. Open the game's launch options. In Steam, right-click the game, go to Properties, and in the Launch Options field, type dash DX11. For Epic Games users, add this parameter to the shortcut. DirectX 11 is often more stable and can resolve loading screen issues. That's it for today's guide. Even though I don't have Hell Let Loose installed yet, these methods are universal and work for many games, including this one. Let me know in the comments if these fixes helped you out and feel free to share your own experiences. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more gaming tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.